Hi, today I'm going to show you how um, the addition or deletion of one base pair um, when a protein is being translated can um, cause a non-functional protein to form. So um, as you can see here, I have an example of a normal protein with all the amino acids listed out and all of the co um, possible codons below it um, for the set of amino acids. Um, I've done the same thing with a mutant form of the protein. Um, so as you can see here, for the first two um, amino acids, there's no difference between the normal and the mutant protein. Um, what has happened though is an adenine has been added into the uh, coding sequence. So what that means is the entire rest of the sequence is still going to read correctly, but it's going to be not in the same frame as it was before. So because that one because that one um base pair was added the whole um coding se sequence is shifted and that changes the outcome of the amino acids um from the co from the coding sequence um so as you can see here um i have written out the uh co the coding sequences for both the nor normal and mutant um proteins um so aug and ugg are both the same um, but an A is added. So instead of UCC, you get AUU, and then that C at the end of there is pulled over to the next um, codon. So this UCC is one codon, but then we get AUU, C, and then the next one is ACU, so CAC, um, which is a completely different amino acid, obviously, than either UCC or ACU. Um, this is called a frame shift mutation. Um, yeah, that's, that's how it works.